Hello, everyone. Welcome. This is lesson five. And in this one, we are going to learn about emotions. It's very useful to know these words, to express yourself, to let people know how are you feeling, or to understand other people when they tell you how they are feeling. So we're going to start this with an activity here. There are 12 sentences, but they are not good. I need you to change them, make them true. 12 of them, I will give you, you can pause the lesson, change it in your notebooks. I hope you have a notebook and a pen, or you can use your phone or computer. Change the sentences, make them good, and on the next slide, you will see the correct sentences. Okay, I'll give you a moment. Pause the video now. Wonderful. Now, I hope you finished that. Let's look at the answers here. So we've got number one is, I usually make friends at the cinema. Well done if you got that right. It's not, I usually do friends. No, make friends. Two, I have nothing in common with my sister. We are very different. We have different interests, nothing in common. Three, my mother always helps me out when I'm in trouble, helps me out. Four, the best way to keep in touch nowadays is to text a person, okay? So send a message is a really good way to keep in touch. Five, I don't have a boyfriend. Have a boyfriend. Six, that is love at first sight. Nothing here. This sentence is good with nothing here. Seven, I get on well with my colleagues at work. Get on well means you like each other. Maybe you're quite friendly. Eight, I'm a sociable person. A sociable person. I'm social. Nine, I don't argue with my brother. Ten, we meet very often here. 11, I always rely on my relatives, my family. 12, just be yourself, okay? How many did you get right? Did you know them? Maybe some of them, you can tell us. You can write it in the comments or drop us a message telling us your results. Now, let's look at these new words for emotions. The first one, quite a negative emotion, upset. She is upset, which means very sad. It's just sad. It's another word for sad. If you're upset, you are sad. Upset. Next one. I see a heart. It's broken. Heartbroken. This is a sad emotion. Extremely sad. It's very sad. If you break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend, or you even lose a family member or a pet, or something bad happens in your life, you can be heartbroken. Heartbroken. This one, the guy is astonished. Astonished. This means feeling or showing surprise because something has happened that you did not expect. Astonished. It's like a big surprise. This one, I see a man and a woman, and this man is jealous. Jealous. This means when you want something another person has, and you're maybe a little bit upset, that you don't have it and they do. So you are jealous of that person. 
Maybe you're at work. A colleague gets more money than you for doing the same job. You might be a little jealous. This one, the woman is proud. She come first, number one. She's proud. This means when you're happy with yourself or maybe someone else after accomplishing something. They did something good and they are proud. If I, if I speak English so well, I'm proud of myself for studying and trying my best. Next one, terrified. This means afraid or very, very scared. If you're terrified, you're very scared. This man is terrified. This one, sensitive. The woman is crying. She is sensitive, which means very emotional. Some people are more sensitive than others. Maybe if you watch a movie and you cry easily, you can be sensitive. This one, the woman says, you can do it. She is supportive. She is supporting her friend. She's supportive, which means it's a person who understands and tries to help other people. If you have a supportive friend or someone in your family, that's very nice. Now, we've got this one. Embarrassed. The man is very embarrassed, which means you feel bad because you've done something wrong or silly. Maybe you went outside and you fell over and everyone saw it and you feel embarrassed. This one, anxious. She is anxious. This means worried, nervous, maybe a little scared. Some people have anxiety, which means they are anxious to go outside, maybe to talk in front of other people, maybe to do a job. They might be a little worried, a little anxious. Next, we have confused. She's confused. It's when you don't understand something. If, if I say something in English, you don't understand, maybe you're confused. Confused. This one, disappointed. Disappointed. This means upset because something didn't work as you expected. So you thought something would happen. Maybe your favorite team lost the tournament and you are very disappointed. This one, relieved. Relieved. This is when you are happy that something stressful or bad has finished or it didn't happen. Maybe you thought something bad would happen and you're relieved that it didn't. It's a good feeling. Phew, I'm relieved. And we've got this one, amused. Amused, which is when you think something is funny. Maybe you watch a funny movie, you are amused. You find it funny, you enjoy it. Wonderful. So these are the words. I will put these in the, beneath the lesson, in the school community. You can download them there. You can practice writing them. Try to use them in a sentence. These are very good emotive words. And we can move forward. Okay. I want you to tell me why might someone feel one of these words? I'm going to choose three. And I want you to write three sentences giving me an example of why might someone feel. Let's have the first one. We're going to have terrified. Why might someone feel terrified? Tell me, jealous, 
Why might someone feel jealous and proud? Why might someone feel proud? Now you can take a video, send it to me, I will give you feedback, or you can write it, type it or write it, take a picture or send the message to me. I will give you feedback and if you have really good answers, maybe we can share them in the community to inspire other English learners. You can use examples from your own life. Maybe tell us a time why or a time when you felt terrified or proud or jealous, okay? Or someone you know, or you can make up a story and use these ones, okay? Now, if you have any questions, just tell me and I will get back to you as fast as I can. But that is the end of lesson five. Thank you, guys. Keep up the good work and I'll see you in lesson six. Take care.